from the creators of Assembly Required. Virtually assembled, an Assembly Required experience. Two-day online event, streaming live on assemblyrequired.net, YouTube, as well as other platforms. February 6 and 7, 2021. Virtually assembled an Assembly Required experience, including artist interviews, studio tours, artist toy exclusives, artist made toy commercials, and Toy Box, America's favorite cartoon witch. Sponsors include Unboxing Asheville, Morgan's Comics, Appalachian Pinball Museum, Asheville FM, Designer Toy Market, Toy Box Theater, Joker Joker TV, and Resin Underworld. Virtually assembled an assembly required experience. Two day online event, February 6 and 7, 2021. Assembly required. Whoa. Yay, it worked this time. Hey, oh professor. man. Hello. Hey, how are you? All right, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good to see was, you, man. How's the team? Well, things are going good. Things are going good. Why don't you uh, give us a little introduction? Tell the uh, folks at home who who you who you are and what you do. Oh God, that means I actually have to know those things. Um, uh, I I <laughs> last I checked, I am Professor Pickman. I uh, I run uh, Pickman's Vinyls with uh, my buddy Mike Alvarez. I uh, I'm an independent toy maker and sculptor. Uh, focus on the sculptor part because I, I really enjoy the sculpting aspect of it personally. Um, yeah, me too. And yeah, that's um, that's me. I love toys. Uh, that's what it boils down to. Now I'm really excited to uh, to talk to you because we've been communicating back and forth over the last couple months, and uh, I actually I won my first uh, Instagram giveaway with you. Um, you did. I was really excited to pull that name. That was a, that was an incredible coincidence. I I, I won from uh, Professor Pickman um, the uh, McCready figure from his thing uh, his his resin thing line. That uh, is that still is for sale on your site, or are they all sold out? Uh, Wave three is up for pre order for another uh, about twenty four hours, but uh, there's definitely going to be a couple of exclusives for uh, assembly required that I've been cooking up. Oh. So. Um, oh. If you've missed some of the fan favorite characters like McCready, just keep an eye out through the weekend. Cool. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Well, I like I said, I'm really excited because you're also a horror fan, um, and I'm I'm a big horror fan as well. So, we've been we've been exchanging some uh, some messages back and forth over the last couple of months. But um, I, I think that uh, that's mm -hmm. really cool to finally finally get a chance to meet you or see you. Virtually, yeah, I'm I'm excited to be doing this. It's uh, I I don't know if I mentioned this through any of our uh, our chats before, but I had actually before the pandemic hit, uh, I was sort of mapping out different conventions and shows that I was interested in, and uh, I had been looking at Assembly Required for for 2021 anyway before uh, it oh, was cool. officially announced as virtual. Cool. Good. Well, um, maybe 22. <laughs> hey, maybe I, now I'm involved. You're stuck with me. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's uh, flip over to the toy cam. Oh, take the green take off the off. green screen. Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, there it is. I looked at it. <laughs> ah, I took it right out of the TV there. <laughs> wow, you nice did. job, professor. <laughs> There was so, four um, of them there. Now there's only three. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, look at that. <laughs> well, um, these are these are called uh, the fluffy little clouds, um, and uh, they are uh, three piece. Uh, the uh, the bottom piece, uh, the segmented, and the vomit, and then the head piece. And these interlock right here. Um, Professor, what inspired you to do a vomiting cloud? Uh, so as as I mentioned, I do a lot of this work with uh, with my buddy Mike Alvarez. We we started this thing together, uh, God, uh, six years ago this coming March, um, mainly because I really loved his art style to begin with. When I first started sculpting, uh, like he he has a habit of drawing just monsters and weird little pieces of art that come out of his brain. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was sculpting just nonsense that came out of my brain, saw his stuff, and was like, hey, um, what do you charge for commissions? <laughs> and he was like, well, these are my rates, but why? And I said, I want to make toys of them. 
And he said, I don't know if you ever knew this about me, but I've always wanted to be a toy designer. And I said, let's make toys. Uh, and here we are six years later. So um, if memory serves for Fluffy Little Cloud specifically, uh, I hit Mike up and I was basically like, hey, I want to make something in the realm of like cute, gross designer toy. There's a, there's a big like, <laughs> there's a lot of things puking right now. What can you give me that's puking? <laughs> uh, and, and Mike being Mike was instantly just like, I know exactly what to do. Give me, <laughs> give me two days. Uh, and he sent back this brilliant piece of art, which is uh, the the sticker on the on the front of the box for Fluffy Little Clouds. Um, and as soon as I saw it, it was a moment of like, yes, yes, I need to sculpt that. Nice. He looks. Like uh, and so for the assembly uh, assembly required version, uh, of course, considering uh, as as Michael was saying, uh, the the weird disaster going on that I think is centralized to us because I'm also central time and not too far from Michael. Um, um, yeah, of course we decided, well, if we're going to do an exclusive, let's do one of our original pieces and let's do it toxic to represent yeah. 2020. Yeah. <laughs> this is called the toxic rain edition. He's got coronavirus. So the, uh, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, the yeah I'm not. Yeah, it's, mistaken. it's the quote wow. unquote Corona edition. <laughs> corona edition. <laughs> and these things glow, right? They do. the um, The rain for each of them glows. There's a little bit of glow swirl in the clouds themselves, but the uh, the puke itself is really going to have a nice glow to it. So, oh yeah, it's literally puking out the toxic. That's what rain. I love to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Man, I love glow. Really, really glows. As a toy maker myself, like I have the hardest time doing glowing stuff. I I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the resin I'm using or whatever. But I, I, it's really awesome to see some really cool glowing stuff. I'm gonna have to shoot you a message about yeah. that because I have a few <laughs> a few tricks. Okay. All right. Good. Oh, some tricks. Well, uh, you know, um, the the ones for the toy. We're not turning tricks here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Again. <laughs> That's a different website. I'm missing the cues. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> uh... Well, um, I think that uh, your line of work is, is just really, really cool. And it's really fun. Um, and I was actually, when I got these, I, 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 pull, I was excited to pull it out of the, the package. And I got a nine-year-old. Um, he, was, he was really excited to see a puking cloud as well. And, <laughs> oh, man, that's and, so exciting to hear. Yeah. And, and, and I was like, and you know what else? What else? It glows in the dark and he was like no way yeah. so we like ran into the bathroom and we turned the light off and he was like oh my god it's awesome awesome oh that makes it even better i i, I love when kids are able to appreciate toy art too <laughs> whether or not it's you know a direct toy or something just that they think looks cool yeah so that it makes was... me incredibly happy thank you for sharing that even oh though... sure 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 what else can we uh, expect to see uh, at your virtual table in the event. Um, so we're going to be doing a couple of exclusives from the uh, the thing line. Um, the day before the event, we're going to be putting some pre-orders up um, through our website. So I'll be able mm -hmm. to show some things off and people will get a uh, uh, close look at that. Like the uh, specifically this uh, this critter here cool. uh, is going to be going oh. up for pre-orders the nice. day before the show. Show the folks uh, what the so critter we'll does. Running all through the weekend. And the critter has this wonderful little oh what if, I, if my fingernail can get it <laughs> articulated jaw wow. so you can have him open or oh. closed mouth oh. uh his arms are articulated so you can you know pose him around to a, as much of a degree as you can with these weird little tiny figures like this but uh. um i think and we're gonna i'm coming up with some a couple of cool contests to do through the weekend too to like pull people into assembly required in general and just have them like hopefully click through different channels and not just mine but uh i'm yeah. definitely going to do one that's essentially um find the critter oh cool uh, and hide the critter somewhere in my setup oh. so people have to find it and let me know when they spot it nice <laughs> Nice. So that, you know, just stuff like that. The first person to spot it wins one, or is that? I haven't decided what they're going to win. Most okay. likely a quitter, but uh, yeah. But you know, if, if for any reason, like they're tuning in, they're like, "Man, I hate critters. I don't <laughs> want that thing." I'll be like, "Okay, well, um, you, you know, here's some package of bread." So, cool. Hey, 
<laughs> well, you heard it for here first, folks. Uh, pay attention to his live streams and, and our live stream for the uh, Virtually Assembled, and uh, I think you're going to have a chance to win something. So we'll see what it is, but that's pretty cool. Thanks for uh, joining us on the show. Yeah, thanks yeah, so thanks much for having me, guys. Right? Cool. All right. So... Uh, <laughs> Tune in to Joker Joker TV Thursday nights at 6.30 p.m. JokerJokerTV.com oh.